Hey, it's Sharon here from Content Sparks, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom theme in PowerPoint that you can then apply to any presentation in the future, including our brandable ones. So to start with, I'm, I've just opened up a blank presentation, and the first thing I'm going to do before I start actually working on my theme is to go into the Design tab and set the slide size. So I go, I click on Design, and then go over to the right and click on slide size and you can do standard widescreen or you can do a custom slide size so for example if you want to create a theme for documents or assessments or planners that you want to create in powerpoint you can set that for example as a letter size or a4 size it, so long as you know the dimensions i'm going to put it as widescreen since that's one of the common youtube sli um, sizes so the next thing that you're going to do is either st you're going to start from scratch or you could select one of the built-in themes as your starting point so you'll see there's a whole section called themes and there's a little drop down arrow and what's going to happen there is it'll show various built-in ones in Office, and you can hover over them to see what they'll look like. And anything custom that you create will also show up here. So I'm going to just click on one randomly that's called Gallery, and I'll use that as my starting point. Don't worry about this Designer tab on the right because that's just something that you'll see as suggestions, for instance, when you're working on individual slides. It's not going to help you with your master particularly. So I'm going to close that and also look on the right here for variants because their built-in themes do have some different variants and you can click on those, click the little down arrow which we're going to talk about for colors and fonts. Those are the things you're going to work on for your, for your custom theme but we're going to do that in the master slide. So I'm just going to pick a plain one here as my starting point and again hide that slide and now to create your theme we're going to work with the master slides so you're going to go at the top here and click on view and then click on slide master and what this does is open up a whole bunch of templates for different slide layouts uh, for instance a title slide or one just with content and titles um, subheadings all different things what you want to do is scroll up to the top one and you will be making changes here that will apply to pretty much all the slides in the presentation and then you can work on individual ones. But the first thing that we want to do is actually edit the color scheme and the fonts in here so that they show up everywhere. And I do have a separate tutorial on creating a custom color theme, but I'll show you it quickly here. So I have one already set up for Content Sparks, which I could easily click on, and it should apply to anything where that's relevant. Um, but we're going to set up something different. So I'm going to go in. You could pick some of the built-in ones, like this blue warm one, and it'll apply in various places. But not just here, but in the future when you add any things like Smart Art, it'll have those colors there for you. Uh, fonts as well. I can pick different things. Custom ones that you've set up will show up and you can apply those. Or you can go down and pick something as your starting point again. So maybe something simple. I don't like to use things that have a lot of styles on them, a lot of serif, you know, those little details, little scrolls and stuff because they're harder for people to read. So let's just pick... Um, Let's try this one. And you can see it's applied it now to all the slides. So I'm going to go back up to the top again and then look at, say, effects. But first, actually, on the fonts, do make sure if you make any other changes to them that you save it. So I can go in and customize fonts, which was right at the bottom there. And if I don't want to use one of the built-in ones, say you have some fonts on your computer that are specific to your brand, you can go and add those. So you can just add a heading font and a body font. So I'm going to add a heavier one for there. 
and then maybe something else for the other. And then I'm going to save it here. I'm just going to call it demo font theme. Okay. And then it'll always show up for you in the future. And again, that's applied it everywhere on all the slides. Um, the other thing you can do here is add some effects. They won't show up a lot here until you have content, but you can pick one and have it saved in there. You can always go back and change this in the future. Once you have some content and want to see what it looks like in a slide, but anytime you want an, a color, a theme, a placement of text to apply to all those similar slides, you have to do it in this slide master. Now, the next thing you can do is look at the background style as well. So here we've got background style. And if you hover over any of these, they do have a little built in explanation of what that particular menu item does. So on the background style, say rather than the one that's in here, I want something darker. Uh, so for instance, let's just pick one randomly. I changed it and it's applied to all the slides again. Or I can go in and click on Format Background and get more options. So there's Solid Fill. I can do a Gradient Fill. I can do a Picture or Texture Fill. There's lots of different options, a Pattern ones. So there, there's various options. But let's keep it simple because otherwise it's distracting for people. So I left this gradient one on. And you can see again that it has applied it everywhere. You can then go in and make some changes in individual slides. For instance, I might want to take out these placeholders at the top. So in, in here, I can just see there's insert placeholder, master layout. I can just undo the title, leave it back in, or this footer, which in this particular style was actually at the top. So there are things like that. I could insert a new placeholder for various things like smart art or images. I do want to have my logo say on every slide. So for that, to have it show on every slide, go back up to the top again, and you can just go into um, insert. So we will be able to go back to the master slide, don't worry. And then wherever you have, say, pictures, presumably you have your logo as a picture. You can just look on your device, find the logo, and then insert that. I'm not going to do that right now, but it will show up and you can move it to where you want it. So to get back to the slide master, I'm just going to click on slide master again. So that's right over here, and that'll get me back to all my menu items on there. So as I said, then you can go on to individual slides and make other edits that you want. You can, for instance, move things around. Say you want your text sections on this particular slide to be wider with fewer margins. Maybe I don't want that footer to show up there. So I'll uncheck that under the master layout and say I want my title slide text to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to go to the home tab and make that a little bit bigger. And then when I have content that has this layout, it will look like this. And if I change things later to the master slide for this, it'll change it everywhere in the presentation. You can also rename these if you want. So for instance, this one, if you hover over it, it says title slide layout used by slide one. So that's just going to say which ones are currently using it. You can right click on that and just rename it. You can also add new ones if you want. Let's go back to that slide master and you can insert layout and then make changes to it and rename it. So it has an option to rename it. OK, so that I believe is most of the things. Um, the important thing now is to actually save your new theme. So I'm going to close the master view, closing out the slide master and go into design. 
You'll see all those themes there. Click on the drop down, go down to save current theme. So you might call it demo theme two. And it's going to save it in your templates for Office in your document themes as an Office theme. So it'll be there on your computer available whenever you want to use it in the future. So I've saved it. And now if I click that down arrow, you'll see there's a section for custom and I can have multiple themes that I can apply. So say I pick the old demo one that I did, you'll see that that's different. So I'm going to go back again and apply the one that I just created. So now it's saved. Let's go apply it to a presentation. So I'm going to open a new presentation. And I'm going to pick one that's from one of our courses called Social Selling. And you'll see it has no format, no design on here at all. But because I have a custom theme set up, I can go into design and then go that drop down and apply my new custom theme. And it's, there it is on all the slides. However, I want to take some things out uh, that should already have my logo on it. So I'm going to take that out. Uh, I might move some other things around. So on this particular slide, I don't like where the uh, text is. So I'm going to just move it up. And I might want to add an image to it as well. If I just want to change the layout, use some of the built-in design suggestions, I could do that over on the right. This designer tab tends to open up. And you could just put it in and maybe click a picture uh, that's related to this topic and play with that a little bit. So you can do individual changes to different slides based on how it looks with the content that you've pulled in. Or for instance, on this one, it doesn't look great with all this extra stuff from the theme, but I can hide those background graphics from the theme just by right clicking on it in the slide pane here on the side, going to format background again. And then there's an option on the right here to hide background graphics. And now I've just got that content from the slide without that background graphic. And I'll maybe I'll move this text down a bit as well. And you can scroll through and do that. Maybe look at some other design ideas. There's already a built in theme here, so you're not going to get a ton, but you have something in the fancier your custom theme, the more it might interfere with some of the text on the slides, but that's where you just go in and play with it a bit. So that is it, and you are ready to go with your first custom theme. You can always outsource it to a designer as well if you want something a little bit fancier. Take care. Hope that was helpful.